So what we have here on my left hand side is Remarkable 2 that I own almost a year now and on the right hand side which is the Galaxy Tab 8 that has been recently released that I own just over a month now. And the reason I'm making this video is that I want to focus on to the audience who are in the architecture field, either a profession or students who are considering to buy either one of these devices, mainly for the purpose of architecture use and especially with taking notes and measurements on site. So to start with, we got the remarkable pen that is called the marker and the Samsung pen, which is called the S pen. You can see that the size comparison, uh, the remarkable pen is actually bigger and is also more expensive than the S Pen, while as it has the eraser function, um, while as the S Pen doesn't. And also the price-wise, Remarkable Pen is almost 100 British pounds and perhaps more than 100 US dollars, while as the S Pen um, is about a third of the price comparing to the, um, the marker around the 34 pounds or 33 pounds or US dollars. But the S Pen requires a regular battery charge, which does not take uh, that long to charge, while as the remarkable marker does not at all require a battery charge. So there's a pros and cons on both ends. When it comes to battery life, Remarkable 2 is a big winner. So there will be a cases where I was on holiday that I really do not need to take notes. I'll probably neglect it for about two weeks or something. And then when I turned it on again, the battery life was still about 70 to 80 percent because of the way how it's designed. And we all know that tablet PCs such as um, Galaxy Tab 8, despite it's the, one of the latest tablet PC, the battery will, will last about um, three or four days without a single use, something like that for my um, calculation. And that's the difference because this is only designed for taking notes, while as the tablet actually PC has different apps and it actually has to upgrade it on the background and download um, emails and etc. I knew that Galaxy Type 8 will be good for two reasons, mainly that I can use different color because it's a color screen, while as Remarkable is a black and white. I also knew that if I zoom right in, the thickness of the line will also be reduced, which doesn't seem to happen with Remarkable 2. So that's why I actually purchased um, Galaxy Tab 8 and I've been using it for site survey and taking notes and etc. And the result was rather surprising. So we all know that Galaxy Tab 8 is a tablet PC that has a touch screen function on it. In other words, if you're trying to write things down using your S Pen while your other part of your skin is touching the screen, uh, it will also recognize your skin also touching the screen as well. In other words, that's going to interrupt the way how you're going to write things down. It will either stop your S Pen writing things down or it will either create a duplicated or jumping to the other part immediately, which is very, very annoying. So this is my bad. I actually purchased a cheaper version of Wi-Fi, not the 5G um, Tab S8. In other words, I have to actually have a constant internet data feed onto my tablet to be able to use outdoors. I was actually in the middle of taking notes, but because the tablet recognized that it was not receiving any data, it immediately stopped taking any notes. I have to spend about five minutes of restarting it, trying to find out what was the problem with it, which turned out to be that it needed a data feed every time when I was taking notes. This never happened to me in my life when I was on site. I was in front of my clients and I was greatly embarrassed because there was about five to 10 minutes of delay me staring at my tablet uh, PC, trying to figure out what the problem was. In other words, this is something you do not need to worry about when it comes to Remarkable 2. You can actually write down as much as you can, but you do not need constant data feed. The only time when you need a data feed is when you want to upload your notes, synchronize it with the cloud data system with your Remarkable account. Now, when it comes to taking notes, the reason we take notes is that we want to look back and remember what we wrote down. Galaxy Tab 8, despite having the function of you can zoom right in and the line thickness will also follow through and it has a different coloring function because it's a color screen, 
the way how it's recognizing your hand gesture is not as good as Remarkable 2. In other words, I cannot recognize my writing. I guess this is mainly down to my way of writing it. You can blame me for it, but I just cannot recognize my fives or threes or ones or two of a difference. While as the Remarkable 2, it's way more easily recognizable in that way. So you can see that the Scandinavians have carefully put those mindset of their thoroughness into Remarkable 2 while it, is, it was a rather surprising and a very disappointment for the Galaxy Tab S8. Now one of the huge advantages about Remarkable 2 comparing to the Galaxy Tab S8 is that you can easily duplicate the page because many times I'm sure you'll agree is that you need more space to write more things on top of your already wrote and that's why you can actually press the duplicate and then you could go on and on and on while as when it comes to the floor plan recording and so on um, I was only limited to one PDF. Um, the only way I could avoid such problem by sticking into one page for my Galaxy Tab S8 is that ahead of the site survey, I had to duplicate, create three to four different PDFs to be able to scribble down. In other words, that's something you do not need to do with Remarkable 2, while as the Galaxy Tab S8, you have to prepare ahead. So the outcome of this experience is that when it comes to taking notes for architectural purpose and site survey and etc., is I'm still hugely depending on Remarkable 2 uh, comparing to Galaxy Tab S8. The Galaxy Tab S8 has so many uh, risks and unpredictability that it will be so difficult to take notes and afterwards the survey there's also a risk that I cannot recognize some of the writings I made which is very disappointing for myself actually that I need to train up while that's remarkable it's way more easily recognizable but there is a big con when it comes to the marker the the remarkable pen um, recently I accidentally break the tip and um, I thought that the actual tip, it looks like a separate piece so I could order it and then replace it, etc. Um, but it turns out the tip uh, that looks like a separate piece is actually part of the main body. In other words, after it broken up, uh, I was finding it a bit difficult to write things down but gladly because I was in the warranty period I contacted a remarkable team and they kindly sent me the link and they came back with a very swift response so I'm actually getting a replacement of it so a uh, good money spent there actually despite being expensive and etc but overall I just hope that for those who are an architecture student again or a profession who are looking to get either of this device and cannot make a decision i hope this video will help you to make the right decision i mean when it comes to galaxy tab s8 don't get me wrong it's one of the sleekest tablet latest design that you can get that is an extension of the use of your mobile phone with bigger screen and better battery life but when it comes to the perfection of taking notes Remarkable 2 is way more superior to Galaxy Tab S8 because that this one is actually designed to take notes and use it as a paperless design while as the Galaxy Tab S8 has a so many different functions that maybe because of that purpose is lacking when it comes to the professional side of taking notes. So anyhow, I hope this video helped you understand with the comparison of these two when it comes to taking notes for architectural purpose. But obviously the Galaxy Tab S8 has a huge advantage of using the AutoCAD um, app use. But then again, that actual architectural app uh, does not fully function as the one that you can use for your full PC and etc. But we're actually taking the professional look on the level of taking notes for architectural use for it will be a huge win for Remarkable 2. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. If you're against my idea, please let me know your opinion about this as well. But overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LZP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.